Hello everyone and welcome to episode 54 of the Wonder 101 Let's Play Serious Storm Edition. We're back with Avalon. Oh boy, it's it's now it's time. Um, you know, um, obviously I've delayed it a few days, but but you know I'm here. I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, I, I've done a little bit on my storm in the meantime. I've been just playing Wizard 101 nonstop the last two days. But I've done a little bit on my storm. Um, as you can see, I'm almost level 75, very close to level 75. Um, I did the zigzag dungeon, which I haven't done. I hadn't done yet on this wizard. Um, I don't really have anything else. Of, I don't think there's really anything else I've done all that much on this wizard. But um, that's the gist of it. Um, I really cannot wait for level 80 because level 80 is going to be a decent power spike for me. Not like a not like a huge power spike, but like I'll probably go up like four damage and a solid, you know, like bit of crit because um I have the I have these sh the the Professor Horde pack shoes um for level eighty as well as the Headmaster Sky Staff for level eighty, so yeah, it's a solid thirty crit that I'm increasing. All right, and here we go, the start of Avalon. Um, this boss is pretty difficult usually, but hopefully my storm is just powerful enough to just beat him up. Um, a lot of bosses I'm actually kind of scared about. Um, there are going to be some problems, but hopefully I can just kind of figure it out. Um, my main problem is, is I can't double faint yet. If I could double faint, I think I'd be fine, but I, I don't have potent trap and I won't get it for a whole nother world, so. You should not be here, wizard. The light of truth can be All right. blinding. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it goes fine. You should have 10k health? 8k health now. So um obviously I'm gonna try to use sirens. That's the plan. Um, they're gonna keep spamming spells at me at first, but, um, you know, I'll just deal with it, you know? I'll hopefully be able to tank through it. Um, yeah, I think, um, <clears throat> today I'm not gonna live stream. Um, yesterday I live streamed, and then I live streamed the day before that, I think. So, um, I'm gonna take a break for a day, and then tomorrow I'm probably gonna come back with another live myth play thing. Um, I'm in the Crocus Sphinx with him, which is, uh, very fun. Very fun indeed. Alright. So, my, really, all I can hope for here is that my storm crits. Because if he crits, it'll do a solid 10k damage rather than 5k. But, it's unlike it's unlikely, um... My storm, despite having 40% crit, doesn't seem to crit, like, super often, so... Obviously, if I don't kill with, um... If I don't kill with Sirens originally, I have, uh, you know... I have Stormlord I can use afterwards, I have Leviathan. Because, I mean, this thing is definitely dead, so I should be able to just use Leviathan on the boss. Is that a weakness? Oh, no, okay, never mind, it's an accuracy debuff. Um... I'll probably just cast Sirens anyway. I probably can't power through the accuracy debuff, but if I do it in Fizzle, it's no real loss. Also, uh, I'm kind of scared. Uh, <laughs> these guys are, gonna, are going to keep spamming spells at me, which is a little bit, a little bit intimidating, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. Ow, okay. Why are bosses so lucky? Like, that's what I want to know. Because, right, like, he could have just not crit there, and it would have been fine. Okay, I'm going to die. I'm going to lose this first battle. I fucking hate that bosses have luck like that. It's because what happened was is King's Isle remodeled the crit system, but they remodeled it for only the players, and the the and these enemies right here in Avalon are super unbalanced because they crit quite frequently because they have really high crit, and um and we do not. 
Crit block is still broken. Very broken. All right. So my hope is that this does a lot of damage. But I didn't crit, which is actually really devastating. Mm. Okay, he has 2k health left. Okay, he doesn't have a lot of pips. So hopefully I'll be fine. Um, if I go up to six pips next round, be six times eight, which is 480. So this will do about 700 at base, which means I can't kill next round, theoretically. I'm really scared. I have to wait around. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh... Oh, he passed. Does that mean I'm, I'm in it to win it, boys? Is this, is this it? Please crit. Okay, didn't crit. Oh my god, why is he stunning me? And if he wasn't stunning me, this would have been fine. Can I do 600 damage with this one hit? Why couldn't I have gotten a power pip just then? Am I dead now? Oh my god. Oh my god! This is what I mean. K King's Isle, fix your broken ass game. And now I'm dead. Fucking hate you. You stupid piece of shit. I'll be back. All right, I think I got him this time. I think he's dead. He should be dead this round. Oh, he fizzled. What a fucking idiot. Goodbye. Yeah, the second fight was just better because I didn't... Uh, listen, Storm, he crit on the last spell. That is so stupid, but... He actually didn't crit on literally everything this time, so, you know, I actually had more health this time, and I didn't die. Alright. Back to Yoshihito. In the Jade Palace. This calming music really doesn't go well with what I was currently just, uh... Like, the amount of stress I currently was just with. Still need to get this done at some point. I think I have some of the reagents on my ice, so... Or, sorry, not my ice, my, my balance. My ice isn't on this account. Alright. Get over here, you bitch. It is good. Back to Merle Ambrose. Uh, that, that last fight took out all of the spirit I had in me. I don't, know how to, I don't know how much Avalon I'm going to do today. I think with this Let's Play series and, you know, just in general, I think I, with my last Let's Play series, what I would do is I would do try to do one street per episode, which didn't work. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do about 20 to 30 minute long episodes and then just kind of end it wherever it feels right rather than dragging it out for a very long time you know you brought your pet wizard with you now that i've reclaimed my deck of shadows i'm going to rewrite the spiral wow this is your one chance to join me or else be washed away in the tide of chaos you were once the best and brightest but you've dwelt in the shadows for too long your path leads What's with the Zafaria music? 
I expel you with a vanishing spell. Ah, you will regret this day, I swear. Shadow take you all! Oh, I had hoped it would not come to this. But clearly Morganth cannot be left unchecked. We must stop her. You will need the Sword of Kings to defeat Morgant's deck of shadows. Gamma, tell our esteemed wizard what we know. But... So, you know, it's funny because it's like, oh my god, why is this music so loud? Um, <clears throat> it's funny because you'll probably hear me at some point complain about the Sword of Kings. You know, the fact that it's completely useless in every way. So, you know, that's just annoying. And, um... I really wish it, it didn't do that. Um, Avalon. Perfect. Yeah, we're probably not going to do like a ton today. Oh, the music. Whew. We're not going to do like a, a shit ton today. We're going to be doing... Um, just till about 20 minutes of game time, which is, I think, about one more boss worth of stuff, you know? Oh god, there's Storm. This is gonna be kind of annoying. Alright, um, I actually don't know how much damage I can do. Let me see, because they have Storm Resist. I don't think it's 80%. It should be, like, 50% or so. If it's 80%, we're going to have a problem. I'm probably going to have to escape, quit, and then put converts on them. Okay, it's not 80%. It's probably around 50%, I'd imagine. Or... It might not be 50, it might be like 40. <clears throat> so let me actually look. So... Yeah, okay, I can probably get to this boss right here, and then end it there. Makes the most sense. I just wanted to put out another one of these episodes because, you know, I didn't want to do too much of one thing. You know, kind of wanted to spice it up still, so. That's the plan for today. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I had a YouTube comment to reply to. Or I just kind of liked it and hearted it, you know? Alright. Goodbye, bitches. Alright. Now we have to defeat the death things, which is a significantly easier time than the, than the storm things. Should only take one or two rounds. <clears throat> All right, so Avalon decent world I gotta say, you know <clears throat> Earlier today I was questing up one of my death wizards through Avalon so I can catch him up to one of my friends uh, wizards who's a storm wizard in Avalon, so That's what I was doing uh, <clears throat> Yesterday I did a lot of farming like a lot of grinding for gear uh, I've been at it for a while, but You know uh, we're getting there. We're getting there indeed. Um, I've done a lot of pet training as well. I got a lot of my pets up with this double pet XP. Like, um, you know, the myth pet I have in my new myth walkthrough, the uh, pet, a um, few of the pets I have. All right, oh, I didn't get the sword. Okay, well, I'll see you guys when I've collected that. All right, there we go. Beat him up and collected it. Ah, uh, let's go and, uh, talk to Pike DeLago. Um, so also, I think what I'm going to do in between episodes to get, uh, multiple feints is I'm going to get a, the Jewel of the Faint amulet, which will give me, um, which will give me, like, two feints that, you know, I can use to stack. Um, it's just, it, I feel like it's it's a lot 
it's a lot more necessary now than it was in Zafaria, you know, because in Zafaria you don't, you didn't, I didn't really need them ever. I, you know, I could hit them once or twice and I'd be fine. But now I really do need double faints. Otherwise, I will not be able to kill. Which, like, you know, I, I really need it. Really need it. Oh, I crit. Wasn't expecting a crit there, but I, I respect it. All right. There we go. You want the worm, Okay, this is going to be the last fight of this episode, and it's going to be, um, should be an easier fight because it's it's two fire enemies, which obviously I boost on fire enemies, which you know leads significant more significant more damage. Also, I'm about to level up, which is really cool. Um, being level 75 at the beginning is really good, especially when, like, I, I, the death I was just questing on, he just reached level 75, and he is, um, he is in, like, past the wild. Like, he's, you know, he's done Care Lyon and stuff already, so. Just shows how much side quests can really do for you. Um, you know, I can't, I can't say enough just how much, like, side quests are important for, for, you know, just for this game and soloing in this game. All right, so I shouldn't even need to use Sirens. I should be able to use Stormlord because I have that boost on him. I should be able to just double blade and then Stormlord. Why is this going out of focus? Stop doing that. There you go. Fucking cameras. Is it because of the mic? Oh, sorry. The microphone just didn't move. The microphone didn't work. For some reason, it's just not focusing on my face. Do I need to move closer? Apparently. Why was my microphone not working over here? It wasn't working. Okay, sorry about that. I moved my microphone, then it, like, stopped. I think that the wire up here is screwed up. Uh, yeah, I think the uh, wire up there is a little bit, like, finicky. So sometimes, it un like, if I move it over there, it unplugs itself, so. Uh. Alright, here we go. I should be able to kill, I think. If not, I have a Tempest that I can use afterwards. I mean, he does have 10,000 health, so it, it all depends on my crit, really, I think. <clears throat> like, see, bosses like this are much easier. Oh. You know, I really should, like, remember not to speak. <laughs> because it really, I always end up eating my own words. Because I'm like, oh, bosses like this should be a lot easier, you know? And then he crits on a fire shark. I mean, it didn't do that much to me, but <clears throat> still did more than I'd like. Do, do, do. All right. Yeah, so being level 75 is nice. It's good. I don't think there's anything specific at level 75. It's like a milestone. There's no new gear or anything, but just a nice level, you know? I should be level 80, like, sometime late Avalon. Not late, late Avalon. Like, I think I'll finish Avalon at level 82 to 84, but... You know, sometime like uh, Lake Shore, I should be level 80, I think. Or earlier than that. Potentially in um, the Weird or Dondara. Okay, he has 600 health. I should be able to just Tempest him with like one pip and kill him. Please fizzle. Ah, oh, you fucker. <laughs> I just didn't want to take more damage. Ow. Luckily, it doesn't do that much damage, you know. Could be worse. And goodbye. Perfect. Oh, and I crit. Why does my storm like doing this? He always crits when it literally doesn't matter. Like, you know, he could have, he could have done, you know, he, he has one pip. Could do plenty of damage to him, but instead he chooses to crit. 
and do a lot more damage than necessary. And he doesn't crit, you know, like on the on the sirens that I cast originally that would have killed him in one hit. It's really dumb. Alright. Let's talk to Fiona. Fiona, sorry. Alright, um, I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, I, I'll probably be scheduling them more like this from now on, like 20 to 30 minute episodes just where I feel like it's right, rather than doing street by street, because I feel like it makes for a more enjoyable time. It might lengthen the series a bit, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? So, if you enjoyed, please drop a like, hit the sub button. Thanks for all the support you've been giving me recently. Um, I know you guys seem to be liking the live streams. So, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a fantastic day.